Hey there, this is Adrian with ProjectRamos.com and DealsbyPR.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 9-in-1 USB-C hub made by Comcare. But before we get into the unboxing, I want to let you know that on this channel, we do tech reviews. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. That being said, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. All right, this unit is shipped in the Amazon um, packaging, simple packaging. So the lid just comes off and right away we see the hub okay so it comes in that real this real nice uh, pouch here and here's the user manual which these type of hubs are pretty self-explanatory so there's not much to read there okay so we'll set that aside and let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what we have inside here's the hub and I also would like to note that the hub or inside the pouch, there's this uh, bubble wrap packaging so that it's well protected. Very nice. Uh, and actually this pouch is pretty thick. Very nice pouch. All right, so here's a hub. Company name's right on top, Comcare. And the cable that goes plugged into your computer, it's a fairly long cable. Um, you shouldn't have any problems uh, plugging this in and getting this uh, hub out of your way. Um, the, the connection is covered with this nice little plastic piece, the USB connector. Now as far as the ports go, let me center this on the screen here real quick. All right, so we've got the SD card reader, micro SD card reader, three USB, I believe they're 3.0 ports or they may be 3.1s. I'll uh, double check that and put that in the notes. Um, and our um, 4K HDMI connector a pass-through charging port, USB-C charging port. And then on this side, we have a ethernet port, which I believe it's a gigabit ethernet port. And on this end, we have a nice little groove here to be able to uh, grab this um, or handle this, uh, this hub. And then on this end, which is interesting, it has an audio jack so that you're gonna be able to plug in headphones or any type of uh, audio product that uses the, the uh, 3.8 millimeter uh, jack. All right, so looks like most of the ports are located all on one side. And with the exception of the uh, RJ45 uh, ethernet port and the audio port on this end. Uh, the construction of it, it's made of, um, the casing's made of aluminum. It's, it feels very premium, so th this, this uh, hub feels really, really good to the touch. Um, it definitely feels like a premium product. So, and the uh, USB-C connection on this end is also, also has an aluminum cover on it that matches the, uh, the case there. So that's a, a plus there, a nice little detail. And the cable that comes out of the unit is fairly thick and rigid. So it's not gonna, uh, it doesn't feel like, you know, it doesn't feel cheap at all. And it has a nice little grommet on that end and on that end so you won't have to worry about uh, this cable uh, breaking its connection here like a lot of the Apple Lightning cables tend to do because they're so soft, they bend so easy. This one's really rigid so uh, you really have to put a lot of pressure on this to I think do any damage to it. So next thing I'm gonna do is just hook these up, um, see how they respond on my MacBook Pro 2016 and uh, make sure that all the ports work as they're intended to work. All right, for my next test, I have a Western Digital external USB 3.0 4 terabyte hard drive that I'm gonna connect to the hub. And I've got a file on there that's 2.65 gigabits, so it's a fairly large file. I'm gonna transfer it over to my desktop and I'm gonna time it on my iPhone and see how long it takes to transfer the file over. So let's go ahead and plug in the hard drive. And I'm just gonna choose the first port here. Okay, I'm gonna wait for it to show up on the finder. I'm gonna to try to focus it here so that you can see what's going on there. Okay, looks like it just showed up on the finder. And let's see here, here's my file, 2.65 gig file. And I'm gonna start my timer. So I'm gonna drag this over to the desktop. As soon as I let it go, I will start the timer and see how long it takes. Oh, let's see here, here we go. And started the timer. Let's see how long 
it takes here. Looks like the transfer rate is moving along fairly fast. We're about uh, halfway through the transfer, We're about 15 seconds in. And three quarters of the way. We're close to being done here. And it's done. It took about 28.57 seconds, so almost 29 seconds. That's very good for uh, a transfer rate via uh, USB 3.0. And I did confirm in the specs that the uh, USB 3.0 ports are indeed 3.0, not 3.1. So what I'm gonna do next is I am going to take that same file and I'm going to move it back to the hard drive. And again, uh, I'm gonna use my iPhone to time this and see how long that takes. So I've got my file here as soon as I let it go. Then I will start the timer and here we go. Transfer started. And same as I did previously, it's moving along very quick. We're about at the halfway point. About 20 seconds in, three quarters of the way. And we're done. Uh, let's see here, I'm trying to get this in the screen. 29 seconds. So very good transfer rate there. All right, so now that we've got that done, I wanna uh, go ahead and plug in um, a micro SD card as well as a uh, SD card. Well, I have an adapter to do that. So I've got my micro SD card here and then the adapter to change it over to a regular SD card. Make sure that, that work, everything's working there. So let's go ahead and get these guys plugged in and see what happens. So first, I am going to plug in the micro uh, SD card. And one thing to note, uh, this is the top of the, uh, of the USB, or I'm sorry, yeah, the USB-C hub. Um, you're gonna wanna put the micro SD card upside down because apparently the connection between the SD card and the micro SD card is the same, they share the same side. So when you plug this in, it's upside down. So there it is, I've got it plugged in. Now over here at the screen, it already loaded up there. So it's already showing that it's loaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and eject that. Uh, pop in the SD adapter. Okay, so I'm gonna plug that in there. Now, however, this time we're gonna plug it in this way. And, you know, I apologize if it's not focusing in correctly here. It's kind of hard to focus in on a bright screen. And as soon as I plugged that in, the card showed up immediately. So very quick though. All right, so the next thing that I wanna test out, actually before we move on, let's go ahead and see if the power adapter works. So I've got my power cable here. So I'm just gonna plug this in and I'm gonna put up the volume on the laptop so you can hear that the pass-through power is working. So here it is, plugged in, and there you go, it's charging. So next test, I'm gonna put up a 34 inch LG ultra wide monitor and test out the 4K uh, port. All right, I've got the 34 inch LG ultra wide monitor plugged in and got my HDMI cord right here. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it into the hub and see what happens. All right, it's plugged in now. And the laptop screen flickered and there we go. We have an image. So we are good to go there. Uh, so I'm trying to drag something in. Looks like everything is uh, sharp and in focus. So it's working as expected. Uh, one of the things that I encountered with a different hub is that if I unplug the monitor without turning it off first and plugged it back in, it wouldn't, uh, the image wouldn't come up. So I wanna test that out here. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug the monitor. Okay. And plug it back in. And let's see if we get an image. Looks like the laptop screen has flickered. Yep, it came right back on. So 
With this hub, you don't have to turn off the monitor uh, to plug and unplug the, or I'm sorry, unplug the uh, the uh, HDMI cable. So it works as expected, uh, works very well, and I like the fact that uh, you don't have to shut down the monitor to unplug it. So let's just do it one more time just for, uh, just to make sure that we're, this thing works without turning it off first. So there we go, we plugged it back in and we have an image. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next part of this review. All right, so the next port that I wanted to test out here was the audio port. So I've got my, uh, my headphones uh, plugged in right here. And rather than playing music, because I don't want YouTube uh, to take the video down through due to the copyright, um, I plugged it in and on the uh, settings I selected the USB-C hub as the uh, audio output and I'm just going to play back uh, some of the built-in Mac sounds just to make sure that they're playing through the headphones so I'm going to put the headphones close to the mic here and see if we can get some sound and there it is there hopefully that's picking up where you can hear it and everything is working as expected. Okay, that's gonna complete the test of the Comcare 9-in-1 USB-C hub. Uh, my final thoughts on this hub is that I really love the construction of this. It really does feel like a premium product. Love the fact that the cable that goes out to your computer has a pretty good length on it so that um, you can plug it in and get this hub out of your way. I like the fact that everything, all the main connections are all on one side. That way when you plug it in, you know, all the connections are going to come out of one end and not get in the way of uh, your workspace there. Um, I also like the fact that uh, if you do own a 2016 MacBook Pro that, or newer that has all USB-C hubs, this is going to become a critical uh, connection point for your laptop, especially one that has this many connectors uh, so you can practically plug in whatever you might uh, need at any one time. Um, and the fact that this color here matches, closely matches the Space Gray um, MacBook Pro, Pro uh, uh, color. So in terms of uh, seeing this next to your laptop, it looks it looks really good. It looks really sleek. It matches the uh, the way Apple designs their products. Now, in terms of performance, the USB um, 3.0 hubs transfer data very quickly, as you were able to see. Now, uh, what I showed on the video is only one port, but I tested out the other ports, and for the sake of time, you know, I didn't show it on screen. But they all perform the same. Um, in terms of the 4K. Um, HDMI port. It worked flawlessly as you've seen. I was able to plug plug in and unplug the monitor without having to turn it off. It worked every time and the um, the charging port, the pass-through charging port uh, worked just as expected as soon as I plugged in the uh, charger. You can hear that uh, the laptop started receiving a charge and the micro SD and um, SD card slots responded very quickly. In fact, as soon as I, I plugged it in, as soon as I looked up to the screen, um, the card was already showing up in my finder. Uh, the RJ45 uh, port or the ethernet port, um, I didn't show it on the screen, but I did test it out. Everything worked as expected there. Uh, that's kind of uneventful um, in terms of testing that out, but it is a, a gigabit um, ethernet port. So you're gonna get very good throughput on there. So my final thoughts on this USB-C hub is that it's a definite buy. Currently on Amazon, it sells for $49.99, and I believe that it is definitely worth the money, especially with all these connections that you're gonna get. Um, and especially if you do own a MacBook Pro that has all USB-C uh, connections, so a 2016 MacBook Pro and above, and some of the newer lines of, um, of uh, the Apple product. Matter of fact, Apple is moving to all USB-C connections. So eventually, this is gonna be something you're gonna need um, in your bag at all times. And at $49.99, I think it's a definite buy. You've seen the transfer rates on the USB uh, ports, USB 3.0 ports, and it worked very well. So it's a definite buy. And before we get out of here, as always, 
I would appreciate if you were to subscribe to the channel. Let someone, you know, if you found some value in this video or um, if you can do two things, hit the thumbs up and let someone know about this video, you know, pass it along, share it on your social medias. I would be greatly appreciated for that. And before uh, we close out here, I also want to let you know about dealsbypr.com. It's a website that I run as well. Um, being that I am always looking at tech trends and I'm uh, constantly looking for good deals online, I decided to start that website to uh, post tech deals that I find. Now, I'm not posting every single tech item that goes on sale. I am filtering out all the products that are kind of uh, garbage products that are not worth spending a dime on. Um, so basically all the products that I am posting on there are items that I would buy myself or I have even purchased myself. Not everything that's on there I bought, but um, quite a few items I did buy on there. Other features that I have on the website is um, I have uh, uh, gift guides, product recommendations, and of course the deals. So go check it out. Um, and I would greatly appreciate it if you guys were to share that with, uh, with your friends and family. Dealsbypr.com. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me on this review of the ComCare USB-C hub. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.